they got us as stars. My name is Innocent Schroemer. So this is my YouTube channel. So in this channel, we're going to be looking at previous question papers. So today, we're going to be looking at grade 11, uh, paper 1. So we're going to be doing two question papers, but we're going to be focusing on question number 1. So this question, guys, is very easy, but you have to come up with a strategy on how you, you're going to handle your questions. So we're going to start the 2018 question paper. We're going to be looking at question uh, number one. Number one, it says uh, x into 2x plus y equals to zero. This is a 2018 November. So here automatically they already factorized for you. So this one is very simple guys. X is equal to zero or two X plus one is equal to zero. So you transpose the one, you say two X is equal to negative one, then you divide both sides by two. And this will cancel this, we are left with x is equal to negative 1 over 2. This is the 2 marks, guys. Very easy. 1, 2. So we move on. We go to number 2. Still on question 1. It says 5x squared plus 2x minus 6 is equal to 0 so this one guys automatically when they say uh, correct to 2 or 3 decimal places on your mind you must know that you must use a quadratic formula so remember you must know your quadratic formula by head guys it says x is equal to negative b plus or minus uh, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Remember, this is your a, this is your b, and that is your c. So we substitute. Remember, one mark for, for the formula, guys. You must know it by here. And x is equal to negative. Then your b is 2 plus or minus root of 2 squared minus 4. Your a is 5. Your c is negative 6. Well, over 2 into 5 so this is also a mark 2 marks but now I don't have the calculator guys I forgot my calculator so if you have a calculator or if you have a calculator with you you can substitute everything then you will get an answer but now because I don't have a calculator I'll just say x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus uh, square root uh, this is 4 4 times 5 is 20 20 times 6 it's 120 guys remember it's negative into negative 1 20 all over 10 then your x will be negative 2 plus now this will cancel each other will be positive then it's 124 over 10 or x will be equal to negative 2 
minus 1 24 over 10 then that is your get mark guys so if you have a calculator you just punch everything then you get an answer it's gonna be simple but if you don't have a calculator or we are using that old casual you can do it step by step then from here you can just punch your calculator and get an answer because they say into two decimal places you just have to punch this in your calculator and you get an answer and punch this in your calculator then you can also get an answer now we are moving to the third one The third one, guys, is the inequalities. So it's 2x squared minus 2 is greater or equals to 3x. This is number 3. Hey, this one I know to some of the guys, like it's, it's a bit tricky. But it's very simple guys, I will show you how to do it. So it says like uh, 2 x squared minus 2. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's bring this 3 inside. It says 3x minus 2 raised over equals to 0. From there, we factorize. So it's 2x and x. Now we are looking for two numbers which we're gonna multiply them and give us 2. Then when we add them, they must give us 3. Let's say 3. But remember, there is 2 on the side. So if I put uh, the 2 here, 2 times 2, it's 4. Then 4 minus 1, I get my 3 here. So which means this one must be negative because my 3 is negative. So 2 times 2 is negative 4 minus 1 is 3. So this one will be positive because positive and negative is negative 2. So it's greater or equals to 0. So now we have our critical values or critical points. We have 2x plus 1 equals to 0, which means our x is equal to negative 1 over 2. That is our first point. Then the second point is equal to x is equal to 2. Now we plot our graph but remember when you have the, these critical points or critical values you just have to look which one of the two is bigger then you have your x here you have to your negative half and you have your two now you just take this sign as it is, this sign, and you just put it here. And that is your answer. Now you have to, to, to plot the graph. You have your negative, one over two. You have your x, you have your two. You see, your shade, shade here this one says x is less than or equals to negative 1 over 2 x is less than or equals to negative 1 over 2 which means it's going on the other side then x is greater or equals to 2. 
x is greater or equal to 2. This side, right, guys, the numbers that follow this side, they are greater than 2. This one 